Hey traders, Raggy here. And in this video, we're going to talk about grains. We're going to talk about some good old fashioned grocery store commodity futures trading, the kind of trading that I did when I was a teenager and started my trading adventure. Why did I start with these markets, by the way, corn, grain, wheat, cocoa, sugar, back in the late eighties and, and, and mid and early nineties, these were inexpensive markets, great margin, good movement and very low barrier to entry. Now things have changed over the years. That is for sure. I think if I recall, and it's been a while, it's been three decades, but uh, when I started trading soybeans back in the day, I want to say my average uh, on the high end margin was somewhere around $700. Uh, for corn, it was about $400. So, you know, clearly the barrier to entry for some of these has changed, but there are still some great setups to be had. And I want to discuss them in this market because a lot of times when it comes to futures trading, you know, we can get very swept up in the low margins of day trading, the S&P futures or crude oil, but we oftentimes will overlook some of these kind of slower moving end of day commodity futures charts. We're going to talk about corn and soybeans in this video. So let's talk, start with beans. Uh, if you take a look here, we've got an initial margin requirement of $3,000. Now, Options on beans are, are pretty liquid, and there is an ETF alternative in the SOYB, and, and that's that's a fine symbol to use. You'll notice it looks and tracks just like the soybean futures contract. And, and the idea here is to identify when the market is trending and buy the pullbacks. Now, you know, the questions that I get here, we always, we talk a lot about tactics. A lot of you all know, I like my trend pullbacks, but a lot of the questions come down to, well, Rog, what kind of, what kind of opportunity are we talking about in terms of risk and reward? And so here, the entry at the wave, which is at the 34 exponential moving average on the high to the point of control right here, is a almost a $2,500 move on this swing in soybeans. This has been a setup that we've been talking a lot about in the Simpler Futures premium videos. And again, it's not about the setups. We've talked about grains and currencies in previous videos, but the question that I get a lot is, Rog, how much does it cost and what kind of return can we, can we think, uh, can, we, can we look forward to perhaps, all right? And risk, and risk, remember. This is corn, another market that we've been talking about for a swing end of day trend following entries. This one triggered at the 21 exponential. So this is not a large position. I would only put a fairly small position, about a third to maybe a quarter of my overall desired position size. Uh, there's your value area high. You know, I'm not picking the high of the day. I'm picking a, a predetermined target that would be represented by either a swing high or a value area high, 21 EMA entry. This is a $1,500 move. Now this one's a little bit better because corn is only an initial margin requirement of $1,400. So, you know, I would love for you guys to think about moves like this. And by the way, let's talk about some setups I have discussed with you guys in previous videos and, and do the same thing. So we talked a lot about US dollar shorts via Canadian dollar, British pound, Euro, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, currency futures. All right. so. One of the recent trades was taking advantage of a pullback uh, into the wave and then taking advantage of a move to at that point, what would have been around the swing high. So this is a $1,200 initial margin requirement. That's what you need in your account per contract, okay, per contract. And the, the move then took us to the swing high thousand dollar move. Okay. So this is really more about, you've seen the kind of entries I talk about. This is really more about what does it cost and what kind of return are we expecting from these entries to the targets? Hope that helps. Hope that maybe whets your appetite to, to look at some of these end of day swing trades. These are kind of setups that we set up in the premium video, uh, each and every night. Hope that helps. I'll see you in the next update.